Angron, Primarch of the World Eaters Space Marine Legion, is amongst the most savage warriors in the Warhammer 40k universe. However, behind the bloody rages lies a tragic backstory that forged him into the monster he became. It began when Angron was stolen from the Emperor of Mankind as an infant along with his Primarch brothers, scattered across the galaxy by the warp storms of chaos. Angron crashed upon the death world of Nuceria, where he was enslaved and forced to fight as a gladiator, implanted with the butcher's nails, a crude device that stimulated feelings of uncontrollable rage and bloodlust. Despite the pain and implants controlling him, Angron led his fellow gladiators in rebellion against their oppressors. However, on the cusp of their last stand, the Emperor teleported Angren away against his will, leaving his comrades to die alone. To Angren, this rescue felt like betrayal, denying him a warrior's death alongside his only brothers in arms. The Emperor disregarded Angron's pleas to save the Nusirian rebels, and instead forced him to command his World Eater's Space Marines reshaping them into blood-crazed berserkers through mass implantation of butcher's nails. Angron grew to despise being the Emperor's pawn, ordered to wage bloody campaigns of conquest across the stars. He yearned for his lost gladiator kin, the only souls who he ever felt truly embraced him. This simmering fury exploded when Horus turned against the Imperium, and Angron did not hesitate to join the rebellion, determined to rain death and destruction upon the Emperor and his false empire. Angron eagerly led his world eaters into vicious clashes across the galaxy, leaving only ruins and corpses in his wake. He fought against the forces of the Imperium with wild abandon, as during the Shadow Crusade where he ravaged Ultramar alongside Lorgar and the Word Bearers. Each battle allowed Angron to unleash his boundless rage, caring nothing for casualties amongst his own forces so long as blood flowed. This frenzy was cut short when Angron was struck down facing Eldar forces upon the icy world of Scalathrax, pierced through the heart by a shuriken cannon. As his flaming life force guttered, Angron was approached with an offer, not by the Emperor but the Changer of Ways himself, Tsinch. Tsinch promised Angron endless power along with vengeance against the Emperor if only he would pledge his service. Yet before Angron could respond, another Chaos God intervened, Korn, the Blood God. Korn offered Angron something far simpler than sorcerous power, an eternity of warfare soaked in blood, skull thrones built from the mountains of dead. In his pain and feral hatred for the Emperor, Angron accepted the Collins God's offer, becoming a demon prince. His world eaters soon followed suit, ritualistically replacing their butcher's nails with new ones forged in the forges of corn. Now the Red Angel, Angron wages endless battle across the material realm and the lands of chaos, his axes inscribed with the names of each loyalist, space marine chapter he vows to extinguish. His world eaters soon followed suit, ritualistically replacing their butcher's nails with new ones forged in the forges of corn. Now the Red Angel, Angron wages endless battle across the material realm and the lands of chaos, his axes inscribed with the names of each loyalist, space marine chapter he vows to extinguish. Though his humanity is utterly lost, in combat Angron attains a sinister joy. Each foe torn apart is an offering to corn. There may be no stopping his wrath until every world in the Imperium is reduced to empty bone-filled wastes. Though ascendance to a demon prince made Angron immortal and amplified his power, it came at a terrible cost. The last shreds of sanity or free will were stripped away leaving only an engine of destruction, the unstoppable avatar of Korn's rage. For centuries, Angron rampaged across worlds, his empty howls of bloodlust echoing amidst the flying arterial spray and ring of blade through bone. Countless planets such as Armageddon and Dominica 
have burned in the wake of his wrath, billions slaughtered without mercy, their skulls piled high in sacrificial offering. Space Marine task forces who once battled side by side with Angron now can only weep at what their gene father has become. There is no trace of the noble warrior Angron could have been. Now there is only a whirlwind of steel that feasts on pain and death, that breathes in the ashes of civilizations. World eaters plunge into battle besides Angren's throne of brass, echoing his wordless screams, their shared ritual madness driving them into greater acts of wanton violence until their enemies lose all will to fight. There are whispered legends across the stars that when Angron destroys the last vestiges of human civilization, his senseless war to remake reality in Korn's image will finally cease and he shall have the only peace left available to him, that of Oblivion's Black, dreamless sleep. Until then, Angron fights on, the slave of the one master who offered him the endless war he craves above all else. He has become war incarnate, and there is no refuge that can hide from his burning, all-consuming rage.